Compartment syndrome of the thigh. The condition of increased pressure within the muscle compartment is called compartment syndrome. Acute compartment syndrome of the thigh is rare. In this illustrated case example, fracture of the femur causes increased pressure inside the thigh that requires fasciotomy. High suspicion for thigh compartment syndrome is recommended even in cases of minor trauma when anticoagulation therapy or hemophilia is involved. The anterior compartment of the thigh is the most commonly involved compartment. Measurement of the compartment pressure could be necessary. Fasciotomy is often necessary when the pressure within the muscle compartment is increased. The increased pressure is defined as an increase of absolute pressure to 30 mm mercury or the pressure of the compartment is within 30 mm mercury of the diastolic pressure. If the surgeon suspects compartment syndrome during surgery, the preoperative diastolic pressure and not the intraoperative diastolic pressure is used as a guide. Once the compartmental pressure becomes elevated, as mentioned before, fasciotomy becomes necessary. This is an example of thigh fasciotomy. Fasciotomy should be done urgently within a reasonable period of time in order to avoid ischemia of the muscles. It should be done less than six hours from the onset of the compartment syndrome. Here you can see how we do fasciotomy of the thigh. We incise the skin, the subcutaneous tissue, and the tensor fascia later. We can also see the use of pie crust technique to cut the fascia, which are incision in the fascia that is vertical to the longitudinal incision, about 90 degrees to the initial incision. This prevents sharp edges of the tensor fascia lata from cutting into the muscle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.